Kevin is gone for his interview today. Megan is gone to college. Well, down to her dad's, and then they're going to be leaving tomorrow to go up to college. And <coughs> I'm here by myself. It's a little after 9. I've been up since about 6.30 or so. I'm getting ready to make myself a little something to eat. I already did a little bit of chores around the house. Um, some things I want to move around, but I'm waiting for Kevin to come home, so, uh, get his opinion and his help on the heavy stuff. And, uh, just going to try and keep busy to keep my mind off things. That's the best way to do it, right? Okay, so that went pretty well. Gonna take off the monkey suit a little bit. I hate ties. Uh, interview went well. I know that the interview's would normally go well if I get them because I'm pretty good at interviews considering that's what I did for the last 14 years so it just all depends on them now because apparently I am one of many people that they interviewed with so we'll see what happens um, I'm probably depending on whether they they're looking to hire cheap I might be the one because being out of work for so long I know that I lowballed my salary. Right now, I am just I just need the money. On the other hand, they might say that they might think that I'm not worth it because I'm not asking for so much. See how that works out. This is probably one of the worst intersections in the area. So here I am trying to make a, a left turn on the Hidden Valley Parkway and um, the traffic going straight here on Hidden Valley Parkway is going to park all the way up to the light. And the next light is just right over there. So it's going to be completely parked up. Then I get my green light. <clears throat> Lucky this time I was actually, there was actually a car length that I could get into. Now, obviously, these lights are not in any way, shape, or form timed with each other. They're just very random, so you never know if you're going to get through this or not. So here's another light, and less than 100 feet later is another light. And less than 100 feet after that is another light. It's the worst intersection area in the town. And this is the suburbs. This isn't the city. It's crazy. Hello everybody. So I've been doing things today to keep my mind off of the fact that Megan left. And I've been rearranging things in the house. Show them what I've done. You've taken Megan's tables. <laughs> well first of all the big fluffy chair that was here that matches our living room set doesn't fit in this room because this room has antique furniture in it. Mm -hmm. So And rats. And rats. And we took that chair upstairs, which was a process in itself. Tell them what we had to do, babe. We had to No, turn the camera around and tell them what we had to do, babe. <laughs> well, I was actually going to show everybody, but she thinks I need to be on the camera. Okay, well, show them, but don't right. point at me and show them. I had to tear down some really horrible um, molding that somebody or one of our predecessors put up. It may force me to actually redo these walls and paint them a color that I can tolerate. But we've never done that. Not this, yet. This room has still stuck in the 1970s. <sighs> Which will get done, except for the fireplace. I love my fireplace mantle. <laughs> <laughs> In case anybody didn't know, this, this is up year round. This is... Kevin made that. They made that. They actually made it for another fireplace at an other residence. So, Megan got this table and the longer one 
from her boyfriend's house. They were going to just throw them out, right? Yep. So Megan wanted them. And, and after she wanted them, they suddenly wanted them. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, they were in the garage, and she didn't know if she could take them to her apartment or not. So um, she didn't take them now. So I brought them in the house. And the round table that used to be over there is now in our TV room. And I moved the chair, that, this chair that was over there, over to here. And brought that big one upstairs. And brought this in here and that in there. So I can put more plants in the window. And hopefully keep them all alive. With Megan's instructions. Um, and we are also talking about bringing the rats and the lizards back upstairs. Yep. Because um, they're going to have to go up there for the Halloween party anyway. Let me show you what I did in the TV room. Okay. Okay, so over here what I'm going to do, because this looks so much like a little fairy garden. I have my little fairy house and some fairies and stuff. I'm going to make this into my little fairy area. So I want Kevin to hang this up there. Uh, okay. Okay. Not high. I want it to come down lower. And I'm going to bring my fairy house and my fairies out here, and I'm going to fix this all up. Although this gets changed out for Halloween and for Christmas, but for the rest of the time, it can be my fairy garden. And the round table that was in the front room is now here. And then we brought another table down from Megan's room to put that on in the back of it. So. Groovy. And everybody, look at the shirt Kevin is wearing. He is sporting his Drax Shadow WWE wrestling shirt. And what is the motto for Jack Shad or Drax Shadow? I think it is, don't fear the darkness, fear the shadow. That's right. And those shirts are no longer available, but... Drax Shadow has a Facebook page you can go on. You can Google Drax Shadow, or you can find Drax Shadow on Mom's Vlog 80. Go check him out. He's an awesome WWE honorary wrestler. Oh, sorry. I hurt. <laughs> hey, everybody. I did my little fairy village. So I got this from my cousin Jimmy, and there's a little tea light candle in there. And I got this little Zen garden thing I bought when a long time ago. But I got one of little Julie healing fairies swinging here. And I got one of her fairies standing up there. And I just put these little fake flowers in a little blue jar. I got a little turtle here. He holds burning incense. Kevin's wizard that Vincent Gutierrez sent him. A little red lantern just to light up the whole village. Mushrooms, of course, because mushrooms go with fairies. And here's my little fairy house sitting on a stump. Little fairy mirror right there. And my little dragonfly heart that Vincent Gutierrez sent to me. So I will be adding to this as time goes on with more mushrooms and more fairies and just little odds and ends type stuff because that's what fairies do. Yay. Doesn't it look pretty? Yes, dear. Step back and get the whole thing now so they can see it all. Yay! And I rearranged a few things on the shelves again. Yeah, what else is new? I'm, I'm got, trying to keep myself busy because my... I'm sad. I know you are. It's all my. Hey everybody! I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. I want to remind everybody that on October 3rd at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, that's California time, we are going to do a live hangout Q&A. So make sure you mark your calendars and have your questions ready so we can go live! And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. Tried to keep myself busy so I wouldn't dwell on missing Megan so much. Kept Kevin kind of busy today too. Sorry, babe. But 
hope you enjoyed it all. Give us a great big thumbs up if you did. If you haven't already, please hit that little red subscribe button down below and become part of the neighborhood community. And share this video with your family and friends because, well, Halloween's coming up and we have a blast during this season. So check us out. Bye.